Hello, WCC USD community. My name is Dr. Kenneth Chris Hurst, Sr., and I'm your new superintendent. And I am so excited to be joining the community and engaging in this work with you. I wanted to review my superintendent entry plan, and this plan is a summary of what will happen over the next several months. As you look at the entry plan, you'll see that I open up with a sincere appreciation uh, of being selected as your next superintendent of West Contra Costa Unified School District. One of the things I wanted to point out to you is here where it says, I am deeply committed to this charge. I am very excited to learn more about how our mission is being implemented. And one of the things that really drew me here and my wife is this portion that says that we are here together to ensure that our students are becoming responsible and thinking, contributing members of our global society. That was exciting for me. And I also wanted to share with you in my entry plan, I highlight the thought exchange process that the entire community engaged in. And I wanted to highlight that I have heard your voices already and I've captured elements of what you said you wanted in your next superintendent. And some of the things that really stood out for me is that you said that you wanted a superintendent that was visionary, that will unify the community around a vision of equity, access, and inclusion. That is exciting for me because that has been my work over the past 23 years. As you look through the entry plan, you also see my own personal vision and core values, which is why I said it was really exciting for me to hear you saying that you wanted a superintendent that focuses on equity, because that's who I am. That's my vision, that we look at systems, that we look at removing barriers for our students so that they're more able to achieve their goals. Another piece that I wanted to share with the community is focus on instruction and understanding that instruction is the most important work in our school system. So I'm very interested in working together with our teachers, with our, lead with our leaders, and really ensuring that our teachers are experts in delivering instruction. And also that our leaders are experts in providing quality and authentic feedback. I also wanted to point out to you that I'm very interested in our community becoming a team that we build trust in one another. One thing that I do know is that I can't do this alone. Our staff, our teachers, our leaders cannot do this alone. We need your help. We need to coalesce together, plan together, and move together. And one of the things I wanted to share as well is this whole concept that we have to be data-driven. We have to know when we are winning, when we are moving the needle for our students, and we have to always improve. I have five goals coming in. The first four goals really discuss me talking to as many stakeholders as possible. I wanna to talk to parents, community members, civic leaders, business partners, university officials, and even on the inside of our organization, our students, our staff, our leaders, our teachers, our union leaders as well. And I really wanna ask questions around what are our strengths? What are the challenges that we're facing? What are our areas of improvement? What are our opportunities that we need to, need to explore more? And what are the threats to our system? I also want to ask questions around, what are your priorities and expectations for me as your new superintendent? And then one of my last goals will be really sitting down with teams of people 
that's you. That's me. That's us. And we are looking at all of the data and we are planning together and we're developing a strategic plan together and we're presenting our pathway to the board of trustees and to the community. And this is our direction that we're going to move together on to improve our organization. I've divided my first several months into two phases, and I've really been talking about phase one. It's my opportunity to listen and to really learn about the great work that we're doing, but also our challenges. The first phase is the first 50 days will go from May to July. And you, you'll see on the right, I'm meeting with everyone. And the questions I, I will ask are the questions I just shared. What do I need to know about the community? What are our strengths, our challenges, our opportunities, and our threats? Phase two will be about coalescing, analyzing, planning, and reporting. And that will be from August to October. This will be the opportunity for us to get into groups and really to work and look at all of the data and to plan together and to present. That plan will be presented to the Board of Education, our Board of Trustees, our community. And then I wanna conclude in my entry plan by just sharing again my appreciation for being part of a family. And I use this phrase, esprit de corps, and it's a military phrase, and it really carries a sense of pride, fellowship, and family. And I just wanted to share with you, Crystal and I, my wife and I are extremely excited to be part of the WCC community. And we take this challenge seriously. And I'm excited to be working alongside with you. Finally, I want to share with you that there will be an opportunity for you to get to know me and to ask questions about this entry plan and what I will be doing. We will have a Facebook Live scheduled for May 27th. And I look forward to the opportunity to talk to you then. Take care and have a great day. Thank you.